this is a very good sized meal for her. And then we'll see if she wants to eat. <laughs> okay, I guess she wants to eat the, uh, the camera. Alright, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day, getting ready for the weekend. And in this video, we're going to be feeding or trying to feed a lot of the ball pythons. Uh, so I think I'm going to try to make this a part one, part two, because it does take quite a bit of time to try to feed all of them. And I have like 20-ish uh, ball pythons, and then I still need to feed some of these smaller uh, boas. So we'll definitely probably have to split this up but as of right now uh, we're going to see if a lot of these smaller ones will eat so the process of getting them off of live on the pre-killed and then pre-killed is i go see john charles right every week um and then i just get all my rats from him so he just kills them off with uh gas so it's very humane and it keeps the bodies pretty warm and then i drive back here and then i just feed them off so um, hopefully at some point they can go to frozen, but as of right now, pre-killed is working out very nicely and it's a lot better than live. I don't have problems with feeding live as long as it's done responsibly and you don't leave this rat in there for too long so it can injure the snake. Ball pythons normally do better on live when they're babies. So trying to swap them over can be a little tricky and I've been extremely lucky so far that I mean, unless they're in shed or something weird's going on, they, they eat very, very nicely. So let's um, get some of these ready to eat. <clears throat> so we have uh, 12, so we're gonna try to get all of them to eat. I've taken the water and the hides out already, so we don't have any issues with spilling the water or getting wrapped up into the hides. Uh, and then this is a mystic potion. It is the male. And we'll see if he even wants to eat at all. Try to get him to focus just a little bit. There we go. And we're just going to go down the line. If uh, anybody has any questions, um, you can ask them in the comments. And I'll get back to you about what they are. Um, but feeding these off have been, like I said, I've been extremely lucky. And I've started all of all of these off on rats so they get used to eating rats rats are healthier they're, they're better and they just do a lot better i think um, on them than mice and if you're a breeder um you i think you'll have earlier success on breeding and that is a mojave pied so So this is a pastel and some people asked me if it was an enchi, had enchi in it and it does not. So it's just a very um, low white pastel pied with very, very nice bright markings on her. And I'm sure as she grows up, she will uh, fade out at some point. And then this girl right here <laughs> spilled her water. So it's kind of messy in there, but I should have taken all this stuff out. So she eats and then there's really no problems. Um, but this is the ivory, it's the super yellow belly, and she pied. So all of these are eating well. And then I need to move this plate over here. And I'm thinking that's a big one. So I don't know who's gonna get that one yet or this really small one. Um, that looks like a good size. A little large, but I think she'll be okay. So I've, I've noticed, and I know I say this because people come on here 
and they say they hate when people keep uh, snakes in, in these tubs, but I, I've, I've noticed that I've not had any problems at all with humidity or heat or, I mean, these, I mean, they're eating fantastic. So, you know, I see people keep them in glass tanks or, you know, uh, four, four by twos or, you know, probably not a nine foot cage, but bigger cages and they struggle with humidity and, and, and they struggle with these snakes eating. And I really think it boils down to the security and, um, I'm feeling like they're able to eat without, without like, you know, like a predator wanting to eat them or whatever. So this is the Enchi Fire Clown and she's phenomenal at eating. So we're cruising right along and doing very well on some of these uh, snakes. So I think I might give this one, no, I don't think I should give that one to the red tail. But we'll do the orange dream. Benchy Leopard, and this guy is hopefully going to be a breeder um, for me in a, you know, a couple of months, and he's eating fantastic. And I really want to feed these two, so I'll drop these down really fast. So I've noticed with this girl that she's not that great of an eater off the tongs but she will eat if I leave it in overnight um, but she's definitely one of those that really really likes uh, live so this she's definitely gonna be the one out of the whole bunch that's definitely gonna give me an issue she has eaten the frozen thawed in the past but for some reason she's just being just a little bit stubborn uh, today so we'll go up here with this beautiful Guyana that just shed out. And this is a very good sized meal for her. And then we'll see if she wants to eat. <laughs> okay, I guess she wants to eat the uh, the camera. That was my fault, I, I moved the, the rat, so. We'll feed the female Mystic Potion. We'll see if she wants to eat as well. So there we go. At least we can have a good success rate on them eating, which, we'll, I'm going to have to look back at, at her tomorrow morning. Hopefully she ate. If not, it's going to smell really bad in here because that thing's going to rot out uh, through the night. But I think one of my favorite, I mean, I like them all, but I, I think one of my favorites is definitely the Mystic Potion. So I do have a male and a female. Hopefully in the future we can get more of these. Uh, my male should breed with my Super Mojave. We'll see what happens with that combo. Uh, but I think later this year, I'm going to have some really cool females and male combos paired up. And so just got to keep feeding them. Uh, I do feed them once a week. I think when they get above a thousand grams, uh, I, I'm told some people still feed weekly and then some people back it off to, to every two weeks. But a lot of people really want to hit that thousand grams or more at the two year mark. And you really can safely feed them that much um, for the, for the two years. But you know, st I'm still feeding them uh, basically small rats. I think once you get them up to the mediums, you should back off just a little bit. Or at least that's what I'm told. Um, and then we can just see how some of these are doing. I can see this one right here is already eating. So we'll just watch some of these. And we'll end the video off with hopefully uh, some good video footage of uh, some fully taken down some of these rats.